Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize your Windows PC for Fortnite if you're only running 4 gigs of RAM. So this whole entire guide is more or less gonna be for low-end PC and laptop players because I think these two are most likely gonna have only like 4 gigs of RAM. Therefore, I'm going to show you all the Windows 10 optimization tricks, the best Fortnite in-game settings and extra programs I would run if I would only have 4 gigs of RAM to get the maximum amount of FPS and the smoothest in-game experience. And if you guys want to support my work, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, for this first part, I'm just gonna show you some secret settings which you usually can't access on Fortnite normally. And all we guys have to do is head over into our game user settings. And how you do that is super easy. Just simply type in percenter, 10 percenter into your Windows search bar until you open up this temp folder here. And then just simply on the top bar, click on local, then press F on your keyboard until you find Fortnite game, go into saved, config, and Windows client settings and then we can already see our game user settings but before we change anything guys please right click onto it and go into properties and make sure that the ad read only is unchecked and afterwards just simply double click onto your game user settings and then you can actually see your game user settings and all the tweaks you can literally do to your game files and what I want you to do is just scroll down a little bit until you find um, your scalability groups and what you can see right now here is we got some extra options something like I don't know uh, foliage quality, shading quality, texture quality, post-processing, stuff like this which we usually can't normally access on Fortnite and what I would like you to do right now here is copy everything I'm gonna do here um, for the first one for the resolution quality we're just gonna leave it on 100 because we don't want to play Roblox um, I'm gonna show you later on a really good stretch resolution which is already gonna do the trick there and your game is just gonna look way way better and you still get enough FPS more um, the viewing distance depending on if you're probably on a low-end PC just put it on zero here this is the lowest one Anti-aliasing as well on zero, shadow quality of course as well on zero, shadows are literally putting such a huge workload onto your PC and costing you so much more FPS, post-processing quality zero, texture quality zero, effects quality zero, foliage quality zero and shading quality of course also on zero guys. And if you already copied everything here you're good to go pretty much and all you need to do now is just simply click onto file, go into saved and close your game user settings and now again right click onto your game user settings, go into properties and now we can put the check here under attribute read only and just simply press apply, press ok and you applied this first step here correctly. Guys, I'm so mean, I just forgot the most important part of my videos guys, like, I'm super super sorry. Usually it's chilling right there <laughs> and now we can continue with the next step. <laughs> and yeah guys, for this next step I want to show you a program which is super super important, especially if you're running like a low amount of RAM, something like 4, 8 gigs of RAM or maybe even 16. 16 is of course not considered low, but you know what I mean guys. This program is literally for any amount of RAM and unluckily guys, I'm running usually two 16 gigs of RAM things, so therefore I couldn't actually like put it on 4 now. I already put it on 16 here because I recorded like a previous video and 16 is like the most common, but you get the whole point. Um, usually let's say here on the total system memory size it should say for you something like 4100 something I think that's like the normal number for 4 gigs of RAM and then you can see right now here guys that we have something which is called standby list and system working set and also the free memory and pretty much I want to just explain real quick how RAM works like everything every action you do on your PC is gonna get saved on your RAM until the next time you restart actually your PC and then this like entire like list is gonna get deleted and as you can see every single action or just if your PC is running uh, the standby list is gonna get filled up and what this pretty much does is um, it actually takes it from the free memory space and if you have less and less and less free memory space your PC is gonna run slower and slower and you're gonna lose way more FPS in game and pretty much here is where intelligent standby list cleaner comes in clutch boys and I'm just gonna show you now how to set it up properly, especially for 4 gigs of RAM, just to make sure that you guys have the maximum amount of FPS. And yeah guys, just real quick, if you wanna get your hands on any of the programs I'm using here right now in this optimization guide or in other videos, just simply click on the Discord link in the description. I've got all of these programs literally saved on my Discord for you to use. And yeah guys, I'm now gonna explain why I put in as the normal list size 1000 megabytes of RAM and as the free memory is lower than I put in 500 megabytes of RAM. And let's say as an example, we're running like 4000 megabytes of RAM in total as systems storage and normally like Windows is utilizing like 2.5k you know um, yeah 2500 megabytes of RAM that would mean that we pretty much only have 1500 megabytes of RAM actually left for anything besides Windows you know so I don't know utilizing maybe something like Discord and uh, running Fortnite in the background and stuff like that so therefore yeah this is what we have to work with and let's just say that the standby list goes up here over the time and as soon as it hits 1000 megabytes this is like another gigabyte which is away from our normal free memory and therefore this would mean that we would have only 500 megabytes left of free memory which is not really that good 
So therefore I put in that the list size should be at least 1000 megabytes of RAM and the free memory is lower than 500, which means as soon as the standby list here is gonna go up to 1000, yeah, um, we already have this one here checked, you know, like the list size is at least 1000. And as soon as it goes like only one megabyte uh, lower, which would be 499, it is automatically also lower than 500. So every time the standby list goes up one gigabyte, this program is gonna start working in the background and is actually gonna like, um, again, like clear the standby list. So we have again, another gigabyte free memory. And this is gonna help you out so, so much guys, especially while gaming and stuff like that. And here on the right side, all you have to do is just put in as the wanted timer resolution 0 0.50 and also put the check here on enable custom timer resolution. And I would also actually uh, recommend you to put the check here on start minimized because yeah, you just want to utilize this program each time you're running Windows. It can also like help you, I don't know, while editing videos or stuff like that. It's just overall a really great program. And then just simply leave this program actually running in the background and you can hopefully enjoy Fortnite with more FPS and less freezes and stuff like that. And yeah, we're pretty much done here with this step as well. And yeah guys, now I'm just gonna show you some extra steps which I would personally do since I have a bunch of new Windows updates and some new features, something like this test bar here on the bottom right side, which you obviously don't need guys. And all you have to do is just simply go into a Windows search bar and type in notifications until you find notifications and action settings and then just simply open it up. And as you can see, you can really like um, disable everything here, everything you can see, all these notifications, just simply turn it off. Then next up guys, we're gonna go onto multitasking, just simply put everything here on off as well. Again, um, shared experiences, I would also recommend you to actually turn this off. And then we're pretty much done here already with this step. Next up, I would just recommend you again to go into a Windows search bar and type in apps and features until you find um, here the apps and features tab. And as you can see, there are like all the programs which are running right now here on your PC. You can decide for yourself which ones you actually need and which ones you don't need. And then also move over here to the left side until you find offline maps. Um, you can, of course, and should obviously turn these off here because you don't utilize these actually in your Windows built-in. I mean, I've never seen someone actually use like the Maps feature of Windows. I mean, just simply go in Google Maps. And the same also goes for apps for websites. Just simply turn all of these here off, guys. Those are all like some Microsoft services which you don't need in the background. And yeah, just simply make sure to turn them all off. And one thing which I would also recommend you, especially if like on a slower laptop or like a slower PC, please also turn off everything on the startup because your startup should be like the most important part. You know, you don't want to wait like two, three, five minutes until your PC is running fully. Just simply turn everything off and then you can decide for yourself if you actually want to utilize it later on. And then again, close here this window. And after that, we again go into our Windows search bar and type in privacy until we find the privacy settings, guys. And here again, the same thing. General, just turn everything off, guys. Then for speech, also turn this off, guys. Um, diagnostics and feedback, I would also recommend you to turn everything here off guys. Um, then next up, under location, also just turn this off here guys. Camera and microphone and voice activation is like the only three things which I would actually leave on. And next up, under the notification section guys, I would also recommend you to turn everything off here. Everything you can see from underneath here, everything, messages, radios, other devices background apps, app diagnostics, just simply turn everything off here guys. And if you're done with that, we're simply done here as well with this whole optimization chapter. And yeah, let's move on now to the best Fortnite in-game settings and the best stretch resolution for low-end PCs. So guys, and as you can see, we're right now here in Fortnite and I'm just gonna give you the, like the best settings. I would personally recommend you if you're playing on a laptop and since we already changed so, so much in our game user settings guys, Please make sure that you're running the alpha performance mode in the first place, guys. This is so, so, super important. This is going to give you so, so much less input delay and also in-game stutter and stuff like that. And also make sure to put your meshes on low. Trust me, guys, I have a full-on video explaining why low meshes are so OP right now and why so many Fortnite pro players are switching to them. And just simply please make sure that this is enabled. And then next up in the game settings, guys, just simply scroll down a little bit until you find the replay section and just turn everything off. And now let's continue with the sound settings and also put your sound quality on low because even Fortnite themselves said if you put your sound settings on high, this might cause stutter and stuff like that. And also the visualize sound effects feature, please leave it off, guys. I mean, you can literally hear where your enemies are coming from. And with that said, you already applied the best settings. Just try to copy everything here. And if you're really still struggling with FPS, also maybe like try out to play around with the 3D resolution. I don't know if it's like really too bad. Just put it maybe on like 70 or something like that. 
And yeah, you should be good to go. And guys, I also made already a full on video explaining you why 1024 times 768 is the best search resolution for low end PCs. I'm just gonna put it right now here on screen and also in the description and in the info box. Maybe you wanna check it out afterwards. And I'm just gonna show you here real quick how to actually apply this new best search resolution for low end PC players and for people with like four gigs of RAM. So therefore see you guys just in a second. And yeah guys, now I'm just gonna show you real quick how to enable this best search resolution for low end PC players. And all you have to do is just simply go into a Windows search bar and type in percent Center, temp percenter until you open up this windows again here then click onto local press f on your keyboard until you find fortnite game go into saved config and windows client and as before guys please first of all right click onto your game user settings and make sure that the attribute read only is unchecked and just simply hit apply press ok here and then we can double click onto our game user settings and this new file is going to pop up and then we're just going to scroll down a little bit until we actually find our resolution sizes x and y and our last user confirmed resolution sizes x and y and as you can see i already put it in there for our x resolution on both of these terms here we have to put in 1024 and for our y resolution we have to put in 768 and if we did this correctly here for both of these just simply click on file and onto save guys and then just close your game user settings and just to make sure that everything is saved correctly guys again please right click onto your game user settings and put the check now under attribute read only and just simply hit apply press ok and you successfully applied this new best resolution for low end pc players and therefore we're done here and yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.